What's up, guys? It's your boy OFAB here. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We're on our road to 10K. And I'm here to show you guys the best all around point guard build. I know if you guys have been watching my channel, all I post is offensive juggernauts because you need offense to score in this game as a point guard. Defense doesn't really matter, but a lot of you guys are like, Fab, why, why it has no defense? Defense was championship, stuff like that. So we're gonna make an all around PG build today. I'm gonna show you guys the best way to make it and the best PG build possible. So let's get right into it. So right out the gate, guys, if you guys don't know, if you guys are new to the channel, 6'1 is the best height for a point guard. Uh, the attributes are glitched. The best the best attributes are a 6'1 or 6'3. Six, 6'3 three. Six, three if you want to contact dunk a lot. 6'1, it gets the most attributes, period. I don't know why 2K did like that. If you're smaller than 6'1, you don't get anything. If you're taller than 6'1, you don't get anything, except when you're 6'3. So 6'1 and 6'3 is the best height. So and then we're putting our weight all the way down to 169. People are like, Fab, why don't you put it all the way down? Why you do 169? It's weird. It just gives us, like, a bigger frame in the game. It gives us, like, a couple more strength, like, in the game. It's weird. Like, the way your body type works, having nine more pounds is a big difference. And plus, we did it because if you guys look at the Excel or Excel, this is the highest weight you could get at having 95 Excel. If you put 170, you only get 94 Excel. 169 is 95 Excel. If you guys don't know... The plus four gym rat or the plus four uh, acceleration workout gets you to a 99. You can't get over a 99 rating on 2K. So the most important attribute as a guard is acceleration. And it's max right now at 95. You put it at 170 turns 94. So I'm over here just breaking down everything comp players do, guys. So you guys just put it into your game. And then we're going to do 6-7 wingspan. Because if we do 6-8, we don't get the 92-3. You want at least a 92-3 as a guard so six seven and then define you just get a bigger wingspan by like an inch because it defines so this is the meta settings right here guys if you guys wonder why i always have all these settings on my player this is why boom so right out the gate guys i know you guys love dunking so we're going to do 86 dunk as you guys know i'm a big advocate on 86 dunk you get that golden let's take off you could take off from further which is really good 76 layup right here 51 stand dunk 26 because it's gonna let me see. Put the vertical 75. I'm going to show you the end game product, uh, the end build product. That's why we put our stand duck up one because we had nothing else to put on at the end. So don't get confused on why I put the stand duck up one. Uh, 92 three pointer. We want that goal limitless. We know goal limitless is OP. You can shoot from half court. We're putting our midi up one so we get that extra shooting badge. 80 free throw. Because I'm not going to lie, a lot of prone guards, if you guys play prone and rec, a lot of people have their free throw lower because it's like easy to green free throws. But I'm glad this is kind of selfish, guys. Don't tell your teammates you're doing this. You're going to have 80 free throws, so you get all the technical free throws and transition foul free throws. Which, with accelerator perk, is going to help you get your takeover so fast. It's going to help you get your ratings up. So, you know, if your shooting guard or teammate put their free throw at 78 and you got an 80 free throw, you're going to get all the free throws. So, you know, we're kind of greedy with it. We're kind of greedy, you know. So, still... Steal all the free throws, man. I have an 80 free throw. Um, we got 76 pass accuracy. If you guys don't know, 75 is the lowest you could have on any game, on any build. So, 76 is good enough. Guys, on my main build, I have a 77 pass accuracy. And I make all the right reads against the best players in the world. So, trust me. 76 is fine for a point guard. Just trust me on that. 96 ball handle. I know a lot of you guys like the Hall of Fame clamp breaker. So, 96 ball handle right here for the Hall of Fame clamp breaker. We got the 81 speed with ball. And then this is the good part for you guys right here. You want the max Excel. You want the 95 Excel. If you guys don't know, 95 Excel is the most OP thing for a guard. It's it's your speed with ball pretty much. It's how fast you dribble with the ball, how fast your quick stops are, your speed burst. So speed is your off-ball movements and on defense. That doesn't really matter like that for us as a guard. But acceleration is your speed with the ball pretty much. So acceleration is really overpowered. You want to have it as high as possible. We're gonna put our stamina to 95 so we get the plus four stamina in the gym rat. It turns into 99 stamina. So right here is the fun part. You guys wanna see the defense. They toned out steals a little bit, but 85 steals overpowered, guys. And 85 steel gets you silver glove. You could get a lot of rip animations, and you got silver interceptor. Then we're putting our perimeter to 70. Boom. So we got that, you know, we got that perimeter right here. We got that perimeter right here. You see that? Boom, boom, boom. That perimeter gives us bronze clamps, bronze challenger, you get silver glove, silver interceptor, silver workhorse. You get all the good badges right here on this build. And then you get one attribute, put it on whatever, probably free throw, whatever. Boom. 
so this is the best all around PG build, guys. I explained why there's attribute thresholds for everything. So like why I do certain things. So right here, we have an 86 driving dunk so we get that golem. Let's take off. Remember guys, put Russell Westbrook dunk package with quick drops off one. We got the 92-3 for that gold limitless. We put our mid up one for the extra shooting badge. 75 pass accuracy is all you need on this game. Just trust me on that. And we got 76. 96 ball handle for that Hall of Fame clamp breaker. We got defense right here. We got bronze clamps. We got silver glove, silver interceptor. And we got the best acceleration on the game, so we move really fast on offense. And we got 75 vertical because I know you guys love the contact dunk packages. So this build does it all, guys. This is the best all-around build. I know you guys want some defense. And the best badges I would run is limitless range and team ratings boost. Boom, boom. Let's see who we get. Let's see who we get on this player. Alright, so six ones are glitched. Everyone gets the same players pretty much at six one. But let me know if you guys like this build. This is an all-around PG build. I love you guys. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy OFAB, and I'm out.